Hi, everyone. Today, I'm honored to have my friend and、uh, a renowned YouTuber, creator, Travis Michelle from the US,、uh, who is doing a fantastic job in laser DIY machine. Let's welcome、uh, Travis Michelle. Hey, s h i d o n I'm glad to be here. Okay.、Uh, first question,、uh, Travis. I'm always curious about yourself because I look.、Uh, Up, uh, your website and your personal pages. I see you are, have versatile talents. You create and design many things. And、uh, how did you get into the laser DIY industry? Yeah, it, it's, per, it's pretty crazy. I guess basically I, I had a long career in the graphic design field and I'm sitting a little burnt out. I wanted to shift career paths.、Uh, I wanted to start building things with my hands. So I started、mm-hmm. learning 3D printing, CNC milling, and CO2 lasers and dye lasers. I got really interested in cutting metal with lasers.、Uh, so I did a bunch of research on the internet for a couple of years、mm-hmm. to see if it was possible. And I found very little information.、Uh, I kept researching and reading and reading. Finally, I thought I understood about maybe 80% of how to build it. But、uh, I, I estimated it was going to cost me about $15,000 to build. And I didn't、mm-hmm. have any money. <laughs> so、okay. I wasn't sure what to do. And then、uh, a couple of years、uh, you know, into that,、uh, my father suddenly got ill and passed from、oh. pancreatic ca- cancer. And,、uh, you know,、uh, when I was younger, we had purchased this plot of land together for hunting when I was younger, but、uh, I don't hunt anymore and, and I didn't want the land. So、uh, after he passed, my mother and I sold the land and my proceeds from that was、uh, $15,000. And、mm-hmm. so I thought, well, now's the time to reinvest the money in myself. And my career. So、um, I set out to build and document the first DIY fiber laser cutter、mm-hmm. on YouTube. So the situation is both cool and bittersweet at the same time. But,、uh, you know, my father passing has enabled me to pursue this passion. So he'd be very proud of what I've done with it. Yes, he will. I... Yes, what a story. I, I think you have turned <laughs> your personal loss into a positive career. Yes, I see your videos on the YouTube and、uh, really great. I compare your videos and other DIY YouTubers, and you are, I think you are the best. And、uh, so I read an email to you, and I was wondering that why you choose us? Because as, you, as a YouTuber, you must receive many, many emails from other、um, supplier companies. So why you choose us? Yeah, that's interesting. You know, I've only really been on YouTube for a little over a year. And during that、mm-hmm. span, I've had well over 100 requests for people wanting me to sponsor their products and reading, review machines and stuff. And、mm-hmm. I've declined pretty much all of them.、Um, mm-hmm. for, my YouTube, for my YouTube audience,、um, I want to be very authentic and only promote the products and services that I think are, are really good value for my viewers. <clears throat> Um, so, you know,、um, after you approached me, that's interesting. And then,、uh, you know, I did some research on Skyfire、um, and the products they offer and the service they, services they offer to support. And together with the, the great prices, I thought, wow, this is like a really good match for what I want to be doing. And I think、mm-hmm. what my audience will appreciate. So, yeah, I mean, I'm excited to be, be working together. Okay. So it's matching, right? Exactly. What we provide and、um, we match. And、yeah. uh, let's review your DIY projects. Talk about your project one. You're using a r a y 2 BT220, right?、Uh, BT210, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, BT210. Yeah, BT210. I'm sorry. BT210. <laughs> sorry. And the in- so,、yeah. uh, can you compare these two gears、uh, and share with us? Yeah, sure.、Um, the first、uh, fiber laser cutting machine I built,、um, I used the BT210 head.、Um, I chose it because it was one of the cheapest options I could find.、Um, and it's really lightweight and small.、Um, mm-hmm. It's worse g r a t especially for cutting thin material out. It becomes a challenge when you want to cut out thicker material when you need to use a piercing operation. When it does the piercing operation before it starts to cut,、um, it has to raise up and change the focus. So,、mm-hmm. with, with the manual focus head, you have to pause the program and take out the X key and adjust the focus. And if you're、mm-hmm. doing a lot of pure stats, <laughs> this, this is kind of a、yeah. headache. So,、mm-hmm. yeah, you guys sponsored me the、uh, BM110, 
and yeah. I've got it installed on the new machine, and it is great. Okay. Um, I was just cutting out some, <laughs> some plates uh, a couple of days ago, and I was doing a piercing operation that I didn't even necessarily need to do, but um, mm -hmm. I wanted to just have it do it and do all the autofocusing, and it, it was really incredible. And uh, yes, yeah, so much easier to use. <laughs> okay. So I want to hear your recommendation for the following uh, DIYers. And if they want to build their machines, their uh, laser cutting machines, uh, which one do you recommend? The manual one or the automatic focus one? And because there are some price difference and uh, function difference, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, for convenience, um, at this point, I would definitely recommend an autofocus set. If you're primarily only going to be cutting thin material where mm -hmm. you don't need to do piercing, uh, the man method will work just fine and make great cuts. But yeah, if you're, if you're going to be cutting any thicker material, doing an autofocus set uh, makes a world of difference in your workflow. Okay, okay. So uh, let's talk about the software. In the project one, you're using the RADA, R-U-I-D-A, RADA software. And in project two, you use the Raytool XC3000, right? We also care about these two. Uh, can you share with us the difference between them? Yeah, sure. Um, back when I built my first machine, I don't know if uh, Raytool has even had any controller or software on the market then. Um, I didn't notice mm -hmm. it when I was researching. Um, so I went with the Rowena controller, uh, which mm -hmm. runs already cut of software. It's basically the most basic software to get the job done. Mm -hmm. The controller too, and they can do all basic functionality, but there's not a lot of options. You're, you're real limited in your input and outputs mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, your head control. By comparison, the Ray Tools XC3000 controller mm -hmm. with the 2B cut head software that it runs, um, mm -hmm. it's a world of difference. And mm -hmm. um, now, like for what you guys offer the XC3000 controller for, mm -hmm. um, it's, very reasonably priced. Um, I couldn't ever recommend the Ruby the controller again after using it. It's got mm -hmm. so many features, um, so many options when uh, connecting your wiring and configuring your machine. I'm loving it so far. Since we uh, collect many uh, inquiries and questions from our customers, the, most of them are focused on the uh, Ray to XC, uh, XC3000. And uh, <clears throat> as a guy, you have already used it very well, including from the installation and everything. Uh, can you conclude and give the uh, our customers and the potential customers and uh, about this set uh, about this device uh, when they are installation the this software or uh, when they are adjusting? Prime, uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm not a tech guy. So maybe yes, I, I, I not speak very um, correctly. Yeah. So can you give some uh, your conclusion about this uh, software to the following YouTube uh, DIYers? Yeah, it's just um, uh, within a software, there's very many options and settings. You could like, for example, say the, the gas control system, like there's mm -hmm. many different ways you can physically uh, connect that and wire it and have a control um, a bunch of different ways you want to set up your system also that goes for like uh, setting up uh, different laser sources you want to use with it um i mm -hmm. found it very intuitive that like i just selected this laser source i was using and it would like pull in all the parameters yeah it's just so far i don't have really have any gripes about it it's just uh, it's okay. done everything i needed to do and more mm -hmm. okay okay and uh let's talk about the um, okay, okay i remember that i always want to ask you uh because you have uh, design different types of machines and uh i want to ask that if there are any uh, something challenging or something interesting during all this project of you yeah yeah um yeah especially on the first machine for the fiber laser cutter you know you can go online and research to try to find information um, you can find user manuals for the motors or how mm -hmm. to wire the laser source how to wire the controller and all that, but there's no user manual for a gas control system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, that that was the the big challenge. I scoured the internet for for months just trying to find like a little snippet of photos that would give me a clue into how these systems were set up and to mm -hmm. understand what components were used and and what order in the line and stuff. 
that's by far been the biggest hurdle, but, um, you know, now that I've done it, it that seems pretty basic and easy, but, uh, if you don't know, you don't know. Mm -hmm. Yes. You must have suffered a lot and, and <laughs> learned a lot. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh but, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and so in addition to the laser and cutting industry, do you have any plan to project your other, um, I'm sorry. Do you have any plan in addition to the laser cutting and the hour? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm about to wrap up my current project at the laser, uh, fiber laser sheet cutting machine. Mm -hmm. Um, after that I'm planning, I think I want to do a fiber laser tube cutting machine for okay. cutting a round, round bar and a square bar. Um, I think for most people, um, you know, it would probably be a convenient option to just build a combo machine. Um, mm -hmm. Ray Tool sells a controller that will both operate the sheet cutting and tube cutting yes, in yes. one single mm -hmm. unit. But for me, I wanted to make them separate because um, in my my workshop here where I'm at, um, I need to keep it very clean. It's all it's also mm -hmm. my office, and mm -hmm. I have three young kids that are coming in and out of here every day. I need to keep it very clean, so I want all my machines to be enclosed for the mm -hmm. dust and fumes and everything. So mm -hmm. uh, I think I want to make two cutting machine that's also enclosed as a separate standalone machine. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to start designing that and I don't have a lot of space in here, so it's not going to be able to, to have the capacity for really long tubes, but, um, yes, I can see it. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I'm going to make the design scalable. So if somebody wants to replicate it, you know, they can make it to the size for their needs. Yes. That's good. Good, uh, approach. Yes. Rec uh, rec replicable. I'm sorry. Re replicable. <laughs> Uh, Re replicable i'm sorry i forget <laughs> my bad english oh, that's good, good. yes so people can repeat your process right exactly yeah okay that's good mm, and uh do you have any questions to ask um, me as a representative of skyfire laser yeah of course um yeah, you know, I, I've been uh, researching this space for a couple of years now, mm -hmm. and there's uh, a lot of different distributors that you can buy components from online. And it seems like you guys are a relatively new company. So, yeah, I'm curious, yes. uh, you know, how did Skyfire come to exist? Um, you know, how are you able to offer such competitive pricing, you know, compared mm -hmm. to all the competitors out there? And also... Mm -hmm. You guys are doing a, a fantastic job of supporting the DIY uh, builders out there with uh, Thank you. services mm -hmm. and products and packages and stuff you're offering. You know, um, you know, how do you guys come to be, and you know, what's in what's in store for the future? Okay, let's talk about the the birth of Skyfire Laser. Yeah. Yes, uh, we have a parent company is E E T O Laser, and uh, our parent company is specializing in manufacturing of all kinds of different of laser cutting machines, including metal sheet cutting, metal tube cutting, and uh, different function, different configurations. You know, we want to make another company to supplement our parent company. So that's the reason Skyfire Laser comes out. And uh, we are focusing on sales of parts and uh, laser services. Of course, as a manufacturer, uh, ETO, we have the uh, advantage of uh, on the supply chain of laser parts, right? We have to buy a lot of laser parts and to manufacture our machines. So we have the advantages in uh, supply chain of laser parts. So that's the, um, which is also advantage for Skyfire laser, if the Skyfire laser uh, sells the parts, right? And uh, in terms of the laser services, uh, which is also the core of Skyfire Laser, we have retrofitting uh, several machines in Mexico, in Poland, in Ukraine, in Korea over the past two months. Yes, and uh, I think that is uh, our main business for Skyfire Laser. So that's the two oh, Skyfire laser have two uh, main parts of business. One is laser parts and the other is laser service. I forgot for the laser services, we also provide the laser repair service and the training. And actually there's, uh, we have uh, Indonesia customer coming to our 
uh, laboratory to receive the training. Yes, and um, we hope this uh, we can promote this uh, two different of uh, laser service uh, via recording in, uh, recording the videos or um, some key documents to uh, benefit those who want to enter into this industry. And uh, uh, regarding the, I'm sorry, that your your last question. <laughs> I know, it was like five like questions and one question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, was, I think the final part I was asked to, um, you, DIY. You, yeah, you guys have taken a really unique approach and you're um, creating a, a lot of packages and stuff uh, towards the DIY yes, customer. Yes, DIY. Um, yeah, yes. what's, uh, yeah, how's that? So that why we about that? Have want to approach to the DIY? Not we want to, but we occasionally meet you. And because the, the basic goal for us is to sell our parts, right? frankly speaking, because, uh, you know, they like this, let's say, if a company uh, want to sell their cook ingredients, they may present a dishes using different uh, ingredients. If a company as Skyfire want to sell their laser parts, we must present a machine that DIY uh, is especially good using all these parts. So that's our strategy. And uh, I, frankly speaking, uh, tried a lot of different uh, marketing approaches and it does not it did not work well and until I contact you and uh, we can sponsor you the all the laser parts and the you are doing the DIY project and the people seeing you using our parts and that's a good combination and a match so that's the that is the good start fortunately we this successful in this marketing approach. And uh, unfortunately, I meet you, we meet you. And that is uh, the story. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> so, mm, just <laughs> lucky by lucky. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a good match. Okay. And so, I have no mm, more questions to ask, uh, answer you. I know that in your Chicago now is about 10 p.m. I will let you go. Okay. Yeah, my laser work to do. I hope next time, maybe in August or November, you can come to visit us in Wuhan. I want to meet you and treat you and uh, take you around, see our yes. cities, and uh, explore some more um, possibility of cooperation between us. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Nice okay. talking to you today. Mm, nice to talk to you too. Yes. I, Travis, bye bye. All right. Bye bye. Me too. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye.